And we're back live just after a quick little break there. We're going to head over towards the Euro Fords, the Mercours. But first, I wanted to stop through the Ford Performance area because it's one of the highlights of our Midway section. And one of the highlights that we've been mentioning is the F-150 Lightning. That's the new all-electric F-150. One of the first chances a lot of people are going to have to see one this close up in person. I got to see this one a couple of months ago myself, but not up, in, uh, up close in this Lariat package like this. People are getting a chance to open the doors, take a look at the interior, take a look at the, the front trunk, the frunk, if you will. Something kind of foreign to most people that are used to having an engine take up the front of their car, but plenty of storage options there. It's an exciting thing for Ford. I know I'm excited about it. I hope some people are too. We've also got the Bronco Raptor here, which our event manager, Ken, is very excited about. Very cool package for the Bronco. Your opportunity again to see it right here in person. Big thanks to Ford for bringing these highlight vehicles to show off for us. Also got the ice white Mustang Coupe over here. It's a new special edition. Also featured on the, the Mach-E. And this is the Billy Johnson Heritage Edition Shelby GT500. You can actually win this one from Cruise for a Cause. Here we've got, uh, conveniently, our very own Mike Garland, who can talk on behalf. I'm going to turn the microphone around, actually, so he can do a better job of explaining things than me. He's got like a little funny, uh, fuzzy bunny rabbit tail back there. And uh, so what are we doing, Sam? We're just walking around? We were walking around the Ford Performance area, then we're going to head over to the Euro Fords and the Mercours by request. By request? Oh, yeah. And dedication. Two radio guys taking requests and dedications. Um, so, yeah, we are here in the Ford Midway display. It's awesome. They have the, uh, the, the, lightning, the lightning here, the F-150 Lightning. They have some cool cars under their little pavilion here. The product experts, I mean, Jim Owens is walking around, Gary Patterson's walking around, and Gary has been beaming all weekend. 400 plus Shelby's here as part of this record setting show. So you gotta check out this display. I know you said you're going to Euro Fords. I don't know where else you're planning to go, but the Bronco Summit on the north side of the grounds is amazing. We actually caught that one a little bit earlier, just walking around, getting the views from up there. And uh, we've been trying to cover everything beyond the Mustangs and Shelbys and uh, show people all the the outreaches of what there is to see. But poor performance is obviously one of the big parts that we had to see too. And look, everybody likes free stuff. They have shirts here. You come sign up. I know it's a little bit of a, they want to get, they want to know who you are before they give you a shirt. It's, it's a basic introductory standpoint. Hi, I'm, okay, here's your shirt. Stop by and see them for a free shirt. I believe it has the GT40 on the front. The ice white Mustang is here. They did a walk around on this yesterday. Um, Cruise for a cause. Yeah, you were talking about here. this. It's not going to literally be this car, but like a car like this will be part of that giveaway for the Cruise for a Cause. So details. There's a QR code. I bet if we get a shot of that someday, somebody can do something with it. But I'll let you go back to your thing. I got to go do a thing. All right. Have fun. Thanks, Mike. And always a big thanks to Mike for telling everybody where to come have fun here on the fairgrounds. Sorry if the microphone's rumbling around on you a little bit, but. We got the Mach 1 Mustang over here in the back as well, and uh, all the Shelby American folks getting in their media too. Here's Jim Owens doing his thing for Motor Company. It's the Shelby and Mustang brand manager, Jim, talking. We'll stay out of Jim's shot here and go walk around the other way, folks. We'll take a look. Let's take a look at the Shelby Mach-E. Another one that I got to look at, but not this close of a look. There was just a walk around at the stage earlier today for this one. This is the Shelby outfitted Mach-E, all electric SUV. Think what you want, but very interesting vehicle. Tell you what, one of... One of the more interesting things to see here, that is for sure. Not just something you see every single time you come to a car show. And we'll take a walk up towards the Euro Fords now. But while we're here, we're going to go past VMP Performance, always getting a lot of attention doing their dyno.
Joe, I agree. Ooh, good spot to walk through. We've got another very interesting setup Mach E. Got the Ford GT on display, a couple of Ford GTs. As well as some De Tomaso Pantera here. A couple of uh, lesser known. Couple Cobra replicas here. I'm never sure. It's always hard for me to discern. No. Got the Sunbeam Tiger here too. Some very interesting vehicles over here, all around. <laughs> I do like the. Okay, we got to take a closer look up here at this Cobra replica. 504. That is a great question. The Electric Avenue Mach -E. display? Mach-E. Yeah. I think you're going to want to go right down the edge here to this tent. Okay. Um, right, the yellow and orange, uh, yeah, or sorry, the orange and white stripes should be our Mach-E area. That's our Electric Avenue display. Okay, so it's orange with white stripes? Yeah. The, there's a tent right here, then the one right behind it. Uh, on the right side here, like... Right at the end of this row. At the end of this row? Yeah, right here. Okay. All right, cool. Oh, they're hungry. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Got to be helpful when we're out here on the grounds. But anyway, this uh, Cobra replica, the license plate literally reads fake. It's a real kit. <laughs> but uh, always fun to, uh, to see. I love all of the Cobra replicas anyway. All right, so we're gonna so we're gonna go past some of our more modern Mustangs to get to our Euro display. So those of you tuning in for Mercur and Euro, thanks for hanging with me. When it's this busy of a show, sometimes it is just a little bit tougher to get around. We're going to go past a uh, bunch of great clubs. Shout out to the Ottawa Mustang Club coming from Canada. Connecticut Mustangs for being a part of the show. Really appreciate all the Mustangs. We got the, the Boss Mustangs over here. 2019 GTs over this direction. Hey, John. John Clore riding by from uh, Ford Club Connect. Focus Rising Club over here. Oh, good timing. Those of you into the Euro Fords definitely know of Steve Saxty. Steve actually giving a seminar as we speak. We'll, we'll poke our heads in for a minute. Um, so, so this car is meant to carry the user. So, um, um, in fact, that's probably been on the back. Because that's like saying, well, Pixar movie, doesn't it? Really? And, this was the problem of the time. I don't want to interrupt Steve, but you can check out his books, Secret Fords, his latest editions. SteveSaxty.com. You can check out all of his books. Very fun to encounter Steve and uh, those folks. Uh, great setup for our Euro display. AmeriCorps Club of America with a great presence out at the show. And here we are, folks, the Euro section. We'll start over here with the 85 to 89 AmeriCorps. These are the stock AmeriCorps, some very cool modified AmeriCorps here, too. We'll get a good look at these. And if, uh, if I can go back and show you any more detail, folks, uh, Feel free to let me know in the comments. It might take a minute 
the way that this works for me to see it, but try and get you more detail if you're that curious about what's going on over here. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. And we got the Ford Probe over here. We'll maybe take a look up that way, but we'll stick to uh, this side of things for the moment. Oh, here we go. All right. Some more Euro Fords. This is just our general Euro Ford class over here. So we'll see a variety over here. Harry Potter fans out there might recognize this one. Last I checked, this one does not fly, however. How cool is that though? You don't get to see a ton of that here in Pennsylvania, let alone here in North America. And we'll keep walking up through. We'll show a few Pintos and Bobcats, a few probes, then we'll head back down into the Euro display since we've made our way over to gate five. Pintos got the, the main drag last year over here hanging by gate five this year. Ooh, and the Woody Bobcat over here. see some of our focus class over there. So we're gonna head over to the compacts, see a few probes, then we'll head back down into the Euro Fords, see some modified Mercours, a particularly interesting one with a Texaco livery on it that I'm curious to check out myself. Saw it come in the gate yesterday, want to see it a little more. Adam, I promise you, I'm sure my video is great, but there is nothing better than being out of the show. If you ever get a chance to join us, can't say enough good about seeing this in person. So Chuck is saying he wants to see some focuses. We'll, uh, we'll go through, down through the compacts and the escorts and the Euros and the Mercours as promised. Been up through focuses, why not? Made it this way.
say that we're enjoying. Ha, ha, ha. 